block diagram let me show you the block diagram of CNN how the block diagram of a CNN looks like for example I have an image here which is 24 by 24 here is my first convolutional layer which has 30 filters with a size of 24 by 24 so this is my convolutional layer 1 with a filter kernel here we are using padding and then stride and then activation function and then we used 30 filters with a size of 12 by 12 these are the filter kernels with the pooling and stride and then the second convolutional layer convolutional layer 2 of 60 filters with a size of 12 by 12 so it is convolutional layer 2 where we use filter and kernel with a padding stride and activation function and then again we use the filter filter kernel the number of filters are 60 with the 6 by 6 size so we are doing pooling and stride and then at the end we make it flatten so this whole process is called the feature extraction after flatten we are passing everything to the fully connected layer this is my fully connected layer here fully connected layer so we are passing everything to this fully connected layer from the image to convolutional layer 1 and then the filter with the pooling and stride and then convolutional layer 2 with the kernel of padding stride and activation function and then again filters with the pooling and stride and then to make it flattened then to the fully connected layer it is a fully connected layer in CNN this whole stage is called features extraction this is the process of features extraction look this is the basic block diagram of the convolutional neural network model so what we are going to do from here up to here we do the features extraction because remember we are using CNN for the image to analyze the image so we have some extra data we have some extra data what we are going to do we extract the important features here and ignore some of the features we picked the important and the most important features here that's why we do features extractions because remember if you pass 24 by 24 for example it can be 24 by 24 it can be 100 by 100 it can be 1000 by 1000 it depends on the image so if you pass this big image directly to the fully connected layer in the CNN it is a time consuming it is a memory consuming it is very very expensive the operation is very expensive and also the process will be slow the operating process will be slow therefore what we are going to do in the CNN we do some feature extractions here we pick important features out of the image so how we can do it we use different filters different technique different process to extract important features now look at here we pass an image as an input which is 24 by 24 suppose it is a very big image suppose now in the first convolutional layer we use kernel we use filter what is filter we already know that what is filter filter is actually a matrix it is a matrix with the columns and rows which slides over the image with a padding stride technique to extract the important features and ignore some of them this is called kernel and also filter in the first layer we do padding process and also the stride process with the activation function now remember activation function is must in artificial neural network and also in the CNN it can be used in the hidden layer as well as in the output layer so in the first convolutional layer we use kernel and then padding process and then the stride with the activation function so in the first layer what we do we have used 30 filters we are using 30 filters this 30 is the number of the filters we have total 30 filters in first convolutional layer what is the size the size is 24 by 24 24 by 24 this is the first convolutional layer so here what we are going to do we are going to do the padding process the stride process to reduce the dimension I'm not talking about reducing of the number I'm talking about reducing the dimension from 24 by 24 it can be 12 by 12 or 6 by 6 if you reduce the dimension of the image it will be very easy in the process it will be less memory consumption less time consumption less expensive the more you have the dimension in the image the more it will be complicated to process the more will be the memory consumption and also the more will be the time consumption and that's the reason we do feature extractions to reduce the dimension of the image now don't worry we're going to talk about the filter we will talk about the kernel and also we will talk about the padding we will talk about the stride everything will be covered but for time being just focus here on this block diagram and then in the next stage what we do 
we used again 30 filters. Now remember, these 30 filters, these are different filters. For example, this is the image. So out of 30 filters, there might be some filters for the age detection, for the color detection, for the body detection, for the nose, for the black spot detection. So these 30 filters have different functions in this image. And then in the next phase, we use again the kernel filter. There are 30 filters with a size of 12 by 12. So with the help of the pulling and stride, what is pulling? We have two types of pulling, max pulling and average pulling. We're going to talk about each and every one. Don't worry. We will cover everything. We will talk about their theory and also we will talk about the mathematical work, that how it functions mathematically. So we have reduced the dimension of the image now in 12 by 12. So from 24 by 24, it became 12 by 12. What is 24 by 24? 24 by 24 means 24 columns and 24 rows. 24 by 24 are the number of pixels. These are the pixel numbers, which are actually rows and columns. Similarly, 12 by 12 are the number of pixels. So with 30 filters, so we have reduced the dimension from 24 by 24 with the help of the pulling, with the help of the stride. And then we have another layer, which is convolutional layer two. We do exactly the same thing here again. We are using filter, kernel, we may do padding process, but remember, it doesn't mean that you must do padding process. You may need padding process here as well if you want to reserve each and every feature. If you do padding, it means that you will reserve all the pixels of the image. Sometimes you need it, but sometimes you don't need it. It depends on your model, what kind of model you want to build. As I told you, if you want to reserve all the features of the image, then you do the padding process. We will, do, we will check it later that what is padding, how it works. So in the convolutional layer tool, we do the same thing. We do the stride and then activation function. Then again, we use filter. What is filter? Filter is actually the kernel. In the second layer, we have total 60 filters. 60 means 60 filters with a size of 12 by 12. 12 by 12. This is the second convolutional layer. Look, the number of filters can be for the different purpose, for the edge detection, for the color detection, for the black spot detection, for the border of the image detection. There are different functions of different filters. And then in the next stage, again, we are doing pulling and stride. Pulling and stride. We have total 60 filters here. 60 kernels of filters here with a size of 6 by 6. 6 by 6. So look at here, from 24 by 24, we came up to 12 by 12. And then from 12 by 12, we came up to 6 by 6. The image size right now is 6 by 6. From 24 by 24, we have reduced it to 6 by 6, which means that we have ignored a lot of pixels. We have ignored a lot of features. We just extract the important features here. There were a lot of features initially, and then we extracted the important feature. So this 6 by 6 means that right now the image size has 36 pixels with 6 columns and 6 rows. Now do flatten process. We know that 6 by 6 means that in a table we have 6 columns and 6 rows, which means that we have total 36 elements. 36 elements. 6 times 6 is 36. Now put all the 36 elements here in a single column. This is called flatten process. We flatten, we flatten all the elements here in a single column. So after doing flatten process, then pass it to the fully connected layer. This is the fully connected layer here. So it is a general neural network. It is a fully connected layer, fully connected layer. So the rest of the process is exactly the same what we saw in the ANN model. The only difference here is this part, this part, this feature extractions. This section takes place in the CNN not in the ANN model, because CNN is used to analyze the image. We cannot use ANN for the image. We are using CNN for the image analysis. So we reduce the dimension of the image. We reduce the dimension of the image in the feature extractions to extract just important features. The 6 by 6 are the important features out of 24 by 24. We have used layer 1 with the filters, maybe padding, stride with the activation function and then we used the pulling and stride with help of the filters with the 30 filters so we reduced it from 24 to 12 by 12 and then in the second convolutional layer we used 60 filters again we used stride with activation functions you may need padding as well if you want to reserve all the features and then again we did pulling 
with a stride. We have used 60 filters with 6 by 6 dimension. So we have reduced from 12 by 12 up to 6 by 6. And then we did flatten process. 6 times 6 is 36. Make all the 36 elements in a single column and then pass it to the fully connected layer. So here you will get the desired output. So I hope it is clear now.